Hello, welcome to another toneless landscape oil painting demonstration with your painter in residence. I'm Francis McCarthy, and the painting I'm bringing you today is a study. It's called Storm Glow. It's a five by seven, and I have uh, gotten pretty co close to completing the larger version that this is a study for, which is uh, eight by twelve. Um, I have to just do a second pass on it, maybe touch up a few things, but I'm really pretty stoked with it, and which is great since I was really, really happy with the way this study came out, and um, uh, I like the larger version even better just because I had a little more mm, room to maneuver, a little more room to move. I think uh, what's really working on this piece is the, the colors and the... Um, I set up this purple into yellow thing, uh, which I love to do. And this is actually the first time I've done it on a original piece from start to finish. I've done a bit of it on redos, so uh, it's a. Uh, I haven't really seen a lot of other people do this sort of uh, radical. Well, I've seen people do radical color things, but I haven't seen them do what I'm doing on this piece the way I'm doing it. So. I feel pretty good about that and uh, you know I think it's very effective I think it works great and now this is like I say the study um, it's in my studio right now I think it's in a box it's waiting I'm probably gonna spin it out to a gallery or something real soon I think it's very uh, very saleable and I don't expect it to stay around too long and the larger piece is actually purposed for being uh, made into a uh, print so um, this is you know a lot of planning went into this piece and a lot of uh, I guess intention uh, and uh, so it's paying off and that's great because uh, I do planning on pretty much everything I do um, well, I have to say everything don't I <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed I like to I like to soften my statements with things like pretty much but uh, I plan everything I do how about that we'll just make an authoritative statement and this is um, a very strong example of that and I'm really really happy with the way it came out and um, it's had a good response uh, in my studio um, at least the time was up in the drawing area so today is uh, Friday February 9th out here in New Zealand it's not sunny today at all it's a very rainy rainy day and the temperatures have dropped correspondingly it doesn't feel at all like summer today but um, I am in the studio. I've been in the studio this morning. I can't say I did a heck of a lot. I, I did a little bit of coating on some other paintings, but uh, uh, we'll see. Actually, I do have some other errands to run today, so I'm not sure if I'll actually make it back in the studio or not. But um, one of the things that's on my list to do is to finish the larger version of this painting and um, get that done as well as another piece that uh, is also purposed for a uh, print and uh, I've been really excited by the prints because um, first of all they look amazing so what I always tell my students is that if it looks good in art it is good really that's that's the measure really you know uh, you could you could say well this was done incorrectly and that's done incorrectly and blah 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 but at the end of the day if it looks good it is good and uh, same thing goes for music of course if it sounds good it is good um, I've got uh, the so these prints they look great and they are great and um, I, uh, I can I can put a lot of that down to the fact that uh, I've uh, supported myself with some excellent technology. I have an excellent uh, Canon uh, camera. It's the 5D Mark IV, I believe, and um, which does a great job. And it's a fairly high resolution. I think it's 34 megapixels or so. And um, 
also really more critically I have uh, invested in some super high quality lenses which are very sharp and give me a very accurate uh, depiction of the painting with good rich color and <clears throat> there's no real way to replace or uh, install that sort of quality if it's not there inside of Photoshop you need to have it um, from the uh, the camera and lens um, all the way through now I think I've done I've talked about photographing uh, artwork a bit on here but uh, suffice it in fact I bought a book many years ago and uh, suffice to say that the main key to getting a good um, a photo of your work is uh, having good equipment and also uh, your lighting should be uh, two lamps at a 45 degree angle uh, to your art and you need a wall big enough to uh, have a bit of distance away from the art you can't just um, have those lamps right up on top of the art either you get glare but um, I was trying to work with a room in my house here and uh, unfortunately I was getting light uh, reflecting off of the walls in the room because it was such a small room so um, unfortunately I have to go <laughs> down to the garage now uh, to do my 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 final photo photography for the paintings when they're done um, that's alright though that's a pretty small complaint at least I have an option like that you know anyway um, other things going on uh, today uh, not a heck of a lot really I just wanted to uh, I will be uh, rolling out and I have to do a preparatory uh, video for um, past masters I'm planning on rolling out a past masters tomorrow and uh, so you can have that to look forward to like I said I have to do a bit a bit of leg work here in preparation to that other than you know just doing the audio over the top and uh, I guess uh, the other thing I would say is I listened to a few of my older uh, videos from this week and I know it's a little rambly but the idea is basically just to give you a little something to listen to while you're watching the video uh, you could always turn the sound off completely and spare yourself <laughs> the, the rambling discourse although I do throw nuggets in there I've known to throw nuggets so just when you think oh my god he's going is gonna stop rambling about what he's up to you know there'll be a nugget so sorry anyway we're getting close to the end now and uh, I'm so happy to share this uh, lovely little study with you and thank you for joining me today and uh, thank you all you new subscribers for signing up and watching my stuff and um, I'll be back tomorrow with a past masters uh, series don't know what image it's gonna be but it's gonna be great meanwhile please take good care and stay out of trouble